suiting up and going in. Boys Town volunteer firefighters run life burn training. To having an actual real home where you can't control the environment, you can't control how the fire is going to move, that's priceless. The training opportunity is bittersweet for Chief John Singh. He's helped protect these buildings for decades and is proud of what Boys Town has become. The reality of it is uh, 45 years ago there was hardly anything, I mean, for children. And nowadays, I mean, look what we have here. But now the West Farm is going up in smoke to make room for progress. These buildings will be down um, in the next several weeks. Developer Jay Noddle is carefully watching the demolition. This project represents the largest piece of ground we've ever worked on before. Nearly 500 acres south of West Dodge. The new West Farm calls for 2,100 homes, plus hotels and shops, restaurants, offices, and parks. Noddle says the project could have an assessed value of $1.2 billion and may take 20 years to fully develop. A bold plan for the future that will honor the past. Developers are saving as many of these structures as they can, like this silo, to be repurposed into the final project. Boys Town is a big part of our history, and a lot of people have a lot of memories of the property. Crews are saving some of the wood, and the dairy barn will find new life. We're going to pick the roof of the dairy barn up, pick it up in one piece and set it on a temporary foundation so we could use it again in the future. The demolition process has been a treasure hunt. We found all kinds of interesting things. We found some sculpture. Trees will be moved and replanted. New buildings will go up and the West Farm will transform. But for Chief John Singh, the memories will remain and he finds comfort in the land's next chapter. I think it's about time that they, you know, we use the property for for something that can be useful for everyone. So in Omaha, Chin Doan, KETV News Watch 7.